we go. <laughs> Trying to stick my arm out the window. now we are on the Wallola Lake Tramway and uh, we are heading uh, to the top. It's about 8,000 feet when we get up there and um, right now this view is just like incredible and I am just going to uh, let you guys uh, soak it in. Should be a good day. Yeah it's hard to uh, it's hard to get this angle here because uh, <laughs> wow Okay, here we are. We'll, we'll look outside again. <laughs> wow, this is some good wildflowers. Get the view behind us again. We have these uh, tinted windows. Yeah, this gives you an idea of how steep it is. Look out the out the side window here. I think we're the first ones on the tram today, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of cramped in here. I'll show my knees, and uh, you can see the the seat in front of us. You've got room for two people. They say you can fit four people, but I think it'd be pretty snug. I'll sing some kind of sways. <laughs> oh, there's a road right there. Dang. Yeah, so apparently this is a gondola. It's a Swiss made. This gondola is it's a Swiss made tram and uh it's constructed in 1970 and um so it got a continuous loop cable and it's about three and a half miles long and yeah we'll we'll reach the top of mount howard at uh, 81 8150 feet Whew. try to try to get a tough look at the uh, cable as it passes over the the top of the uh, poles. It goes. Oh, oh man! It gets a little rough when we go over those uh, those uh, crossbars up there. Well, uh, I'll keep an eye for this one. Here we go. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'll just say uh, that. Uh, it was uh, thirty-seven dollars a person, and we made these. Uh, we bought these tickets like uh, I don't know, six or seven months ago, and um, it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely worth thirty-seven bucks. I will say that it's great. I know. Yeah, I can't imagine you know, the construction of this thing. Right, so you're on kind of like on this ridge right here, there, and over here, and it is a. Uh, some steep territory. We're gonna get some really good wildflowers up there on top. Yeah, I think the wildflowers are gonna be good, yeah. Drops off down there. Okay, now we've, now we've got some serious elevation under us. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we are at the tops of the trees. Okay, we're near the we're near the, the, the entryway here.
just got off the tram. That was a pretty rough landing when you come in there. You're coming in, coming in hot, bouncing around. Got these stickers up here. Okay. Okay, right now we're on these groomed trails. You can see the Wolowas out there. And um, I believe we saw this at Rainier a few days ago. It's the uh, Cascade Wallflower. You okay, saw, I've seen this flocks before. Uh, it's like on um, Tandem Ridge or something. I don't know if it's the same species, but. And then we have uh, this pen stem here. Okay. I got this blue flower here. I don't know what it is though. <clears throat> okay. Here we have to see them. We're getting eaten by mosquitoes here, so and of course I forgot my mosquito repellent. Okay, there's some lupin right there. It's very pale. Here we have a prairie smoke. Saw this on one of our hikes. So we get closer to it. There we go. It's a very strange flower. Okay, we're seeing those little white daisies. Okay, just a quick uh, look around. Yeah, we'd hiked up here. Instead of taking that tram, it would have taken us like half the day just to get this far. Okay, there's little teeny tiny violets. They are small, extremely small. Oh, here you get an idea how steep the slope is around. And once again, I'm huffing and puffing. And then the top is right up there. Okay, so. That the summit I talked about just a minute ago. It's not the summit. <laughs> Apparently, it's a false summit. But from, you know, from over there, it certainly looked like a summit. So anyway, I'm going to keep going. Finally, I got some sun coming out. I want to say that's some kind of arnica. You can see the leaves. And uh, let's go along here. Now oh, this parsley right here. As these uh, parsley like leaves are very small now. Okay, we have these little flowers here. They're very, extremely tiny. <sighs> like little tiny 
star points. See the peak there, east peak, that's where we're going. Unless it's another uh, false summit, which I tend to have a habit of calling out false summits. The beauty of this taking the tram is that uh, we just started off immediately with uh, these uh, spectacular views. Didn't have to hike, you know, forever to get up there before you had a view. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the uh, great thing about this hike is another great thing about it is that uh, we're out here by ourselves so far. We haven't seen a single person in this uh, wilderness area. I'm uh, sure that uh, won't be the case. Maybe later on there'll be people on the trail. I don't know. But uh, for right now, it's, uh, it's nice. It's great. It doesn't happen too often. All right. It's on this washed out trail, I guess. You can see the views out there. That was a little sub peak up there. Huh. Okay. It's weather. I don't know. They're saying there might be thunderstorms. I hope not. Because I do not like lightning. That scares me. We lived in New Mexico for a while. Man, that's some wild lightning there. Okay, so we're looking at this view. And, uh, wow. Seen this clover again. And, uh, there's this, uh, white heather. I don't know exactly what it is. What kind? I'd say it's white mountain heather is my guess. But there's a ton of it on this hillside. I believe these are called mountain havens. Yeah, don't quote me on those being mountain havens. I uh, think we saw those right here, but these I'm not sure. But uh, you know. I don't carry a field guide with me, so I can't, can't afford the extra weight or space in my back. Uh, there's a summit over there. I think that's a false summit. At least the sun's on. All right. Okay, false summit, like I said. East Mountain, maybe. <laughs> no, we're pretty positive now. Look at this, look at this valley. Views. Oh. I think we're gonna head to that saddle right there. I bet the trail goes over the top of it or connects to it. Yeah, it's almost it's almost dizzying now. Looking down into there. Man. And then uh, what we looked at earlier, close to a 360. This just to show you the trail we're hiking on. Okay, here's a trail that we are following.
Okay. Now the trail cuts over the ridge spine to this side. I'll never get away through here. Okay, I gotta go up that right there. Oh, this thing is just killer. I have these, uh, I'm gonna say there's some kind of an. Well, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm not even gonna guess. Maybe some kind of a. Okay, here's a spine we're going up to that uh, peak. I'm on this ridge right here. So the last little bit we came up, I uh, did uh, some video, but we were just like scrambling over this sharp, sharp uh, basalt rock. And I tell you, we came out of it and it's kind of opened up again. So hopefully, hopefully it'll make a little better time to get to the summit because I'm tired. <laughs> okay, some kind of a buckwheat. And it, uh, it's like it, uh, those leaves are like gray. Huh. It's like a flower garden up here. <laughs> oh, trip. So in addition to the view, got these just these gorgeous little flowers. Oh, my son's making a good time. I gotta catch up. Oh, the wind is picking up. You can see the these rocks are coming over right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a steep goalie right there. And I'm going there. More snow there. Okay, let's go up this. It's gonna, looks like this pretty much to the full well, summit. Someone's gonna put the camera away. Okay, I uh, was going to put my camera away until I got to the summit. But, got it back out again. Oh man. See a few out there as we're walking along. I don't know if this is another fault summit. Not in front of us. That's that's the peak. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we'll start with the drop off to the right. <laughs> oh man. And uh, then so we're heading for this little uh, chunky, blocky outcrop point on this ridge we've been following. And apparently it drops down. Do 
comes down and then we go to the top and uh well we can always slide down that snow field no okay i was gonna get this snow field i think we're getting really close to the top and we'll have a i'm sure just a tremendous view okay let's keep going okay there is the summit right there Sound like I'm gonna keel over. Oh man, I feel like it. It's elevation. Just kicking my butt. I can't believe we're seeing wildflowers up here. This thing is rocky. Cairns, or cairns. I have mosquitoes landing on me. Fly or something. Oh man. I'm feeling a bit wobbly here. Whoo! Oh, the wind. Wind feels great. Okay, here we are. We'll just, uh, I'm just gonna get the, go around the summit one more time. Just because. And uh, I forget the name of those two of the peaks out there, but we're not gonna make them today. Too sore. But next time, we just, uh, we're getting in better, better shape, so. Here we are on top of uh, East Peak. And uh, it was uh, quite a bit of work to get here. Um, I was surprised. <laughs> we came over some pretty gnarly stuff. Um, now we're gonna head back down and um we're gonna take the tram down so that'll be fun well uh, you guys will see that again and uh, this has been a great uh, great hike overall i'm not gonna end it here because i know that this has been such a beautiful hike that we are probably gonna see more great stuff on the way down there's the summit <laughs> we're walking on the snow Another look at the uh, view going down and East Peak up there. Okay, I'm just uh, sitting here waiting. My uh, son is, he's heading uh, down slope uh, to see if we can uh, catch the other trail. It might be, uh, it might be um, not as steep or as uh, um, treacherous. So, it's heading down that way to the right. We were, that's what we climbed through earlier this morning. And uh, you can see the trail there that we came, came on just now. We went off the slope. I uh, tripped and skid, skid my knee. Not too bad though. Anyway, you can see it there. It's not too bad. But we're back on the trail again. So that is, uh, that's good news. We hit a snow field we have to cross. And I wouldn't worry about it, but it's pretty steep. Man, if you don't self-arrest on the way down, I don't know. Man, here goes. It's pretty, it's pretty wet.
step in that mud there you're gonna sink in like right there okay made it over the snow field it wasn't as bad as i thought i was a bit worried there just because of the where it tails out it looks like it just went over a cliff so anyway but we are making progress again Okay, we're back to where we were this morning when we forked off the trail. And uh, we went up that like that. And um, instead we just came across uh, down through there to that uh, snowfield right there, I think. So this is morning in the clouds, and now we're seeing it in the sun. Okay, it's a little rough on the uh, takeoff there, but here we go. Steeper here. Oh my. Wow. Woo. I tell you, there's a lot of. I bet there's a lot of pressure on that cable. <laughs> Some of these are a little rough. Oh. Okay, we're kind of listening here, kind of swaying back and forth around like a really, really, really steep part, I think. We're coming down to the main coming down to the main uh, and the terminal so okay just gonna look around the inside of the uh, cab Woo! holy crap a little rough on the crossing but we're getting there see down there God. okay guys I'll tell you, this has been a great day. Spectacular scenery. Um, the tram ride is just totally fun. I definitely would do it again. And um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Um, otherwise, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.